Hi guys, so we are going for the outer layer imaging. Preparation, lamination, installation and development. Okay, and it looks like that the panel will be go back in the clean room. So the process is pretty the same as the inner layer? Yes, Clément, you are right. But here we are on outer layer. So with the hole and the surface roughness, it is really difficult. Furthermore, with HDI and high density, it is a real challenge. Let's have a look on that. The surface is prepared. Boards thinner than 500 micrometers undergo a chemical cleaning process, while thicker boards undergo a mechanical cleaning process using abrasive brushes. The boards are heated for better adhesion of the photoresist film. Then the boards are coated with an automatic lamination on X and Y. The edge is cut directly by the machine. For semi-automatic insulation, the artwork is checked again before being added to the machine. Registration is optically done between the holes in the targets with two or four CCD cameras. Once the panel meets the quality criteria, vacuum is applied. Then the board receives a blast of UV light between 1 to 20 seconds to polymerize the photoresist, creating an image of the circuit pattern. For high-end products and high-density materials, laser direct imaging is used. This machine is fully automatic, so loading, registration with four CCD cameras, and transferring the layer image are done in seconds. LDI is also an important factor when close tolerances and tight registration are involved, such as 50 micrometers or less. Once the insulation is finished, the protection on the dry film is removed. The areas not exposed to UV light or laser are unhardened and will be dissolved in the developing sodium bath, leading the boards to this beautiful blue color. The outer layer image is now printed, ready to receive electrolytic copper. The automatic optical inspection of the outer layers will confirm the total absence of defects, whether electrical opens or shorts. As with the inner layer, the original design from the Gerber file serves as a model for the optical camera. If the machine finds an inconsistency, a technician will assess the issue. Now the outer layer imaging is finished. We have the base copper, the electroless copper, and with the dry film, we have the plated through holes open and the non-plated through holes covered by the dry film. The next one will be electrolytic processes to increase the copper thickness. Stay tuned.